Hey guys, Irene here and today I'm gonna be talking about what's in my camera bag and you guys always ask me this you want to know what's the body or lenses that I use to get the shots that I have on my Instagram and I thought why not just make a video about it um, so yeah this is the camera bag that I use and <clears throat> pretty old I think I've had it for more than five years now and I actually bought it at the same time uh, that I bought my first ever camera uh, I think I bought it at the future shop and they had some kind of deal going on with like if you buy a bag you also get a free charger or battery so this is why I got it but it actually is absolutely perfect for me the size and everything so this is why I still use it even to this day and because I'm cheap and I don't want to spend money on a new bag but it fits everything just perfectly and yeah let's just get right to it so the first thing that I have in my camera bag and probably the most important thing is the camera body and I have Canon 5D Mark III this is the camera body that I wanted for quite some time it is very expensive but I worked hard for the whole year and I finally saved up money and I went and got it. I actually also got it used, semi-used. Uh, I got it off a guy off Kijiji. He bought the, the body and never really used it, so he sold it. And I was lucky to find this kind of deal because it was amazing. I think at that time, the body cost around 3,000 and I bought it for 2,400. So that was a great, great deal. I absolutely loved this body. Um, takes amazing pictures, great quality, and if you want to be a professional photographer, you should invest in some really good quality equipment. The next thing that's probably really important is my favorite lens, and the lens that I use the most is my Canon 85mm 1.2. Uh, this lens is also pretty expensive, but it's absolutely amazing. Just look at this glass. It creates really awesome bokeh. Um, it just has the softness to it that I really, really enjoy. And most of the portraits that you see on my Instagram, my Facebook, the stuff that I post is done using the combo of the Canon 5D Mark III and a Canon 85mm 1.2 lens. My second lens that I use the most is a Sigma 35mm 1.4. This is actually the lens that I'm using right now to film this video with. Uh, Sigma lenses are absolutely amazing. I couldn't recommend them enough. They're very, very sharp, very colorful, very fast. And I think they're just amazing quality for the price. Um, I think the Sigma lens was around $800 when I bought it and it's definitely money well spent. This kind of lens is a wide lens and I use it mainly for weddings, couples and family stuff. Um, it's just really sharp and it fits a lot of people in the shot and that's why I like it. Now the third lens that I now use quite a lot and this is a newer lens. Um, this is a Nikon 50mm 1.8. Some of you might be thinking why do I have a Nikon lens and I use this for freelancing. If you want to know more about freelancing I just made a video about it. I will link it down below so you guys can go watch it. Um, but yeah, a friend of mine, the photo fiend, um, I also will link his work somewhere so you guys can check it out. He gave me this lens and it's absolutely perfect for freelancing. Now, one of the most important things in my camera bag is this little thing and this is just the LCD screen viewer. So this is absolutely perfect when you're shooting outside and it's really hard for you to see your screen. Because sometimes if it's really bright outside, the screen will go just black and you can't really even see if you took a good picture. So this will cover the screen like this and then you look into it and you'll be able to see your picture very clear. You'll be able to see how bright it is or how dark it is and adjust your setting currently I don't know how I lived without this thing before because this is seriously a lifesaver especially when it comes to wedding and photographing at um, very very bright locations where the Sun is just too intense and you can't see anything um, this is pretty cheap I think I bought it for around $30 from eBay or Amazon something like that I will also try to find a link and put it down in the description so you guys can purchase this little thing because seriously this is a lifesaver now the last thing I'm going to talk about is the speed light. 
Now this is not something that I use in my regular work. I only use this during events or weddings. I think this is absolutely necessary if you wanna do um, professional work, if you wanna be a wedding photographer. Um, this is just great for shooting at night, in the evening, in the very low light situations. Oh, I forgot to mention what is this. This is a Canon 600 EXRT. I think that's how you say it. I'm not very good with technology and equipment, but this is what I use and it's really, really good. Also, I always carry some extra batteries and extra memory cards in my bag. You know, just those things. So this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like. It really helps my channel. Also, I just made a Snapchat. So you guys should go and follow me. I will be putting a lot of behind the scenes there. It's just Irene Rudnick. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.